Mmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, why it does? guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning into this video we're back with another video back with another vlog but this one is kind of special as was the last one the last one I did was on my hometown White House in Jamaica Westmoreland of course and today I'm actually back in Jamaica back in White House and I'm here to do another vlog for you guys this one is special because I actually go do a walkthrough of certain parts of White House that I want to show you guys um, a lot of people don't really, if you're not from White House, you might not be really familiar with how beautiful this area is. But I want to show you guys some of the new, or should I say, the prime assets of White House, you know what I mean? So right now I'm actually up by Bada, so I'm going to start off this one by showing you guys the street food of White House. The world famous, the world renowned Bada. I'll show you guys how I go on. Um, get two fish, um, and then I'm going to bring you guys, I have the drone with me as per usual. I'm going to show you guys around. As I said, I'm going to show you guys some of the nicer parts of White House. And also some of the local areas as well. Zin? So we have started off, as I said, with Bada. Get some fish. Go from there, sir. Zin? Alright, stay tuned. So for border, it sits literally on the border of St. Elizabeth and Westmoreland. If you're coming from St. Elizabeth, it's going to be on your left. And if you're coming from Westmoreland, it's going to be on your right. And what they serve here is primarily fish in different types, in different styles. Primarily fried fish. For me today, I'm going to get fried fish and bami. It's a staple here in this area. Um, it's well known and it's well loved. So you definitely want to test this. You definitely want to try this out. It's very delicious, guys. I promise you. Yeah, fish. Yeah, man. Like two, three. How many days ago? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. How many days ago? My sister yesterday, man. Oh, yeah? I got two years ago. Oh. Yeah. Hey, man. I'm going to come for a boat here, so you're probably. You're not a part. Yeah man, about two or three parts. Yeah man. I hear the other one. I used to get them all now. just fry? Yeah. Oh, you mean, man? Yeah. That more? Yeah, yeah. Is it yeah man. I don't mind the pepper. I don't mind the pepper. Is it Tesla, man? Is it the most color? Is it Anika? Anika. Oh, Anika Wait, man. Which part you come from? A grove. A grove? Yeah. You know, I know Anika. Where is the guy managed real? I need a man to eat, man. 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 I need a man to eat, man.
Yeah, man, you look good, man. Alright, boss. Right Team Bummy right as well. Yeah, hey, me, man. Everything hot, man. Everything hot. Yeah, man. So, they're on YouTube, man. I'm a boss. I say a word, man. Guidance. Audience. Ah, boss. Guidance. Showing already. I'm going to hand. So, I'm telling you guys about the taste, I know. I mean, don't be jealous now, guys. Just know, say, when you're there in Jamaica, just come back this side and get your fish. And you're good to go. You know what I mean? Fish on your bummy. Yeah man, this bad. This bad. Fresh parrot. Just come out of the pot, you know. Jeez. Yeah man, this bad man. Mm. Yeah man, but they are white house. And then the bummy. Let's try this as well. This is steamed bummy, by the way. No, I prefer typically to eat my bami fried. But this is also good. Mm. As you can see, Barda sits right next to the ocean, which in a little bit you will be able to see the boats actually. Um, that bring in the fish. So the beauty of Barda is that the fish is actually fresh from the ocean. So the first featured place that we're going to be talking about is the exclusive community South Sea Park. Now this community sits at the easternmost point of Westmoreland, so literally right next to the border of St. Elizabeth and Westmoreland, you can find South Sea Park. Now this is the type of place that you want to build your dream home. This is the type of place where you might want to take your luxury vacation at an Airbnb, at a villa, or if you just want to go to a guest house, or like I mentioned, if you want to build your dream home. As you can see, there's plenty of lots available. Um, but this, this is the type of place where it's quiet, it's cool, it sits as you can see right next to the Caribbean Sea. So you will have a view, you will have access. If you're into fishing, you can easily go up front and you can do some fishing. And there's a lot of things to do here, right? As I mentioned, it's a safe, gated neighborhood, so there's plenty of things to do and things that will interest you. But today we're going to be showing you kind of what it looks like um, and it gives you the opportunity to see the homes. But I'm not going to get too close because I don't want to invade anybody's privacy. I just want to show you guys the community so you guys can see how beautiful this actually is. Enjoy.
Alright guys, let's hit the road. We're heading to another beautiful exclusive community in White House. Now this one is probably my favorite, right? This one sits on the hill. We hear about the house on the hill and all that kind of stuff. Well, this one is beautiful. Now we're going through the heart of White House. As you can see, this is White House Square. If you are familiar with the area, then you know where it is, where this is. If you're not, then let me introduce you to White House Square, right? So again, we're heading to and another exclusive community on the hillside to show you guys how beautiful white house is. Let's go. Now I was busting my brain, calling up my family, calling up people from White House, trying to remember what the name of this community is, and I did not find it. So if you know what the name of this community is, drop it in the comment section below. But I want to talk about this particular community. Um, if you're going through White House from the Black River side, it's going to be on your right hand side. If you're coming from Savannah Lamar or the Sandal South Coast direction, it's going to be on your left hand side. Now I want to talk about this particular area because I love this area. I love the panoramic view from most of the homes. It gives you a view of sandals on the right. It gives you a very beautiful area of this bay area. Sandals will be on your right and from the left side, you will probably be able to see the South Sea Park area, but it's a beautiful panoramic view um, as you can tell right now. Most of these are residential homes, but what you can find are individual private rentals, whether through Airbnb, um, Booking.com, so on and so forth. You can find these private rentals, one of which is my favorite, and this is not a paid promo, but I love Lane Chateau, private rental, and also one of the nicest restaurant and bar in White House. Now on the oceanfront section of this particular community in White House, you will find a mixture of residential homes as well as uh, private rentals in the form of villas and guest house as well. Now the villas here are very exclusive. They come with the entire property of access to everything. It comes with a private chef. It comes with pretty much everything that you can ask for for an exclusive vacation um, villa experience. Now these are well-known um, hotel owners that own these properties and I tell you it's an experience i haven't done it myself but i've heard really good things and if you have also let me know in the comment section what your experience was and like as you can see right now there's a lot of construction that's happening they're actually renovating the property right now so i'm guessing they're trying to give us a new experience so looking forward to doing that i will definitely try that one day
Now let's get into one of the most talked about and newest development, the White House Beach Club. Now this used to be just land, just bushes and nothing <laughs> uh, when I left and now as you can see it's a beautiful suburban development as you can see these homes are residential homes and i'm sure there's going to be a lot of airbnbs and private rentals that come out of it now this is a gated community with 24 hour cctv securities and all are included and i believe there is a bridge that goes under the road that gives homeowners access to the beach club that is being built on the opposite side of the street on the side that has access to the Caribbean Sea, which you'll see in a little bit. Now, all these homes are, well, the community is still under construction, so not all these homes are completed as you can see, but for the ones that are, it's a very modern, contemporary American design. Um, I love it, and as you can see also, every house has its own pool. I don't know the exact number of houses that will be built, but what I do know is this community is breathtaking and if you go online there's videos on youtube here that you can watch that shows you a full um, tour of these homes and i absolutely love it i think it's a beautiful touch to white house and i think it's going to add another layer of beauty to this particular community talk about my favorite part of this video sandals south coast now it was previously known as sandals european village and spa but it was renamed to sandals south coast now this property has 360 rooms uh, including suites and overwater bungalows now all the rooms on this particular property are all ocean view so it doesn't matter what level you book you will have a view of the ocean Now this property was opened on February 10 in 2005 and since then has been remodeled multiple times to stay modern and stay beautiful. Now I will be showing you an aerial view of the three villages which is Dutch, Italian and French as well as I will be showing you the new overwater bungalows and also the new swim up butler suites as well. Fun fact, I actually worked at this property for a few months before I left the country, but I can tell you this, that my opinion is not biased. I'm not sponsored by Sandals yet. One day I hope to be, but I can tell you this guys, um, it is a beautiful resort. There's a huge stretch of sand right here and um, beach that you can actually go jogging or just going for a walk um, if you're on vacation. But the creme de la creme is of course 
the heart shaped overwater bungalows. Now these particular rooms go for, or they start at, depending on season as well, um, about $1,600 per person per night. These are all butler suites, so therefore everything is on the house. Of course, it's all inclusive, but there is the exclusivity of being able to book an overwater bungalow. And that's just an experience by itself. Um, it has a glass floor, a section that has a glass floor that you can actually see through at any given time. It does not have a swimmer pool, so you just have the ocean. And I mean, that sounds to me like a good deal. It's not a big problem. But anyways, as you can see right now, the French village, which is this one right in front of you, it's under reconstruction. It's being remodeled as we speak. And there you have it. It is the beautiful swim up roundabout swim up butler villa. I did not get to see this. This used to be land when I was working there. It is a beautiful villa. I want to try this. I can skip the bungalows, but I want to try this. This is absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. I love it. At the time of recording, the going rate is about $647 per person per night. Um, so if this is not within your budget, don't worry, there's plenty of groups. Starting off in the luxury category, anywhere from $330 something dollars per person per night. And as I mentioned, it's an all-inclusive resort. All your drinks and food at all nine restaurants are included. Um, water sports is also included. Either way, personally, I don't really spend a lot of time in the hotel rooms anyway, so I, you're gonna have a phenomenal experience. As you can see, um, you are going to have access to a beautiful beach. And as I mentioned, the beautiful thing about this area is that there's not like a chain of hotels. You're literally by yourself in that hotel. And you're not gonna be bombarded by a bunch of vendors. You're not gonna be bombarded with anybody that could impede or affect negatively your experience here at Sandals. And I love this property because I feel like it is enhancing the development of White House Westmala. It definitely changed the dynamic because we never had anything like this. It has changed how it looks and it provides so much employment to our community. And it sits, it's a very big property. It sits on over 50, I believe 50 acres of land. And so, like I said, it's not a small property. You have your swim up bar right here, your main lobby and a bunch of restaurants, maybe about six restaurants are in this general area. Um, like I said, guys, this, re this property is on my highly recommend list. If you've never been to this area, if you've never been to this hotel, if you've never been to this sandal, I highly recommend that you plan a trip.
to subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Matter of fact, mash up the subscribe button. Zin, thank you guys for watching the video again. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.